on the front it's got a couple of, what are they? Fresnel. Fresnels. Fresnel lenses. Oh, I wonder if we'll see the lead there. Hang on. I think we can. Yes. There's something shining. Oh, look. We'll just give it a new light. One, two, three, four, five. They should have an interesting effect on the strobing, actually. Mm. If my voice strobes with the scanning pattern. Ooh, up and <laughs> down. Anyway, what we can see there, we can see a site. Chris has built a, um, a site up out of bits and pieces there. Give us a look on the side of it. There it is. I wonder if we can see that site. Now there's the actual lead, if you can see it in the back there, glowing away. So that's what's making the light. There's the rest of the there's tronics. The, there's the crophones on there. And further up there we've got the site. Hmm. There's the bits of site. And the that's front That's uh, uh, achromatic doublet, two inches diameter. It focuses onto this little cross here which is on a piece of um, glass just there on the focal plane and that's the eyepiece which just magnifies the image that's focused on that. So it's all very very straightforward. Now as far as what's inside the actual device is concerned, what have we got? We've got a, um, is it a 2,000 milli candela lead there, so two what, can, what so you're seeing is only by backscatter inside the... So that's a 2 candela yep. device. Um, now what have you done to that? This I've shaved the lens off it. Um, what, the, so the, the convex front? Yeah, the convex front's been shaved off, so you, what, it's just the uh, the chip inside showing. Right. And just in front of that, you can't see it, but it's inside. Um, about, or I suppose, half a centimetre in front of that, there's a plano convex lens, quite a thick plano convex lens. Right. Which regulates the dispersal of the light coming out of this and hitting the Fresnels in the front. So that the lens is designed so that the Fresnels in the front are just illuminated without losing too much off the sides. We're now about to um, Is that the right way up? No. put one of the units up on the roof. Long doing ascend missions. Mm. Okay, we, uh, how about we head off to the park now and see how it's coming through down there. Over the shoulder and away we go. Uh, the receiver itself, the receiver and transmitter are standing uh, Oh, only about two feet high. As you may gather from that voice, we now have contact with the long. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, actually, you're, you're modulating a bit too much. My um, it, The mic must be near the speaker. No, I turned it up and I'm a mile away from the microphone, so oh. I'll, I'll oh. turn it down a bit. Yeah, the, the, the speaker sounds louder than you, and when I speak, I can hear distortion. Okay. No, you're, now, you're not distorting. If, if we can set this up properly, when you get your... Um, Hang on, oh, we're, we're, we're about to run out of battery. Just stand by. I'll just do some adjustments. Right. I th am I overulating? No. Uh, this is Chris Long speaking from Wattle Park on a modulated uh, LED. Um, and this is the first two-way communication by light beam that I've been able to set up for about 13 years since uh, John Eggington and I had the, uh, the Mercury Arc system going. How are things at your end, Tone? 